And when you watch my videos, you might be thinking, he's a lucky guy traveling all around Europe, not having to work. And I am in a lot of ways, but sometimes the reality of travel, you don't get to see on vlogs. So for example, today, I've had to get a bus from Altincombe to Bodrum, where I am now. There were no direct buses from Altincombe, there were no buses from Didham, which meant I had to get a bus from Altincombe to a place called Soke. Now from there, I could get a bus directly to Bodrum. So I got the bus from Altincombe to Soke, which took about one hour, 15 minutes. I then get the bus at Soke, which brings me right back to where I've just started. Basically two and a half hours on a bus to end up back where I started. Anyway, then the bus uh, brought me to Bodrum, the bus station, which is about 10 kilometers outside the city, as seems to be the case in Turkey. Managed to get a, a local bus easy enough to bring me into the center. Got to the hotel and my uh, shower gel has exploded in my bag. So I'm gonna be smelling pretty good for the next few days. <laughs> Probably the best I've smelled in a while, to be honest. And the reason why is because my bag is just so full. I've actually got two winter coats in there. Now, you might be thinking he's in Turkey. It's like really hot out there and it is. Why does he need two winter coats? Well, only a few weeks ago, I was in Bulgaria and it was minus 15 degrees and I was wearing both them winter coats at the same time and a small jacket underneath. So, but now I don't think I'm gonna be needing it. So I think I'm gonna just leave one here. Um, I don't think I need all of these face masks, to be honest. I was in Turkey and I left the hotel without uh, a mask and I was going into a shop and in the shops they do actually uh, ask you to put a mask on. I've not really seen any evidence of it since leaving Istanbul. Um, so I needed a mask and I just walked past a shop and they were selling boxes of 50. So <laughs> I just keep finding these things everywhere. Anyway, so it's... I wouldn't say it's been a stressful day, but it's not been as easy as it, it should have been. Hotel's okay, this is what you get in Turkey this time of year for uh, £12 a night. And um, yeah, so let's go out and have a look at Bodrum. Well, here we are then. Literally been out of the hotel for about two minutes. This is nice, isn't it? I think there's just a few maybe one or two there's a couple of shops on the uh, beach there small beach there mostly uh, the city stretches out over there we can see the castle right in front of me there I'll probably go and check that out tomorrow today I think it's just about having a few beers some food and just settling into Bodrum I kind of get the impression that Bodrum is perhaps not quite as uh, popular with English tourists than a place like Altincombe. Never too far away from a statue of Ataturk. I was chatting to a guy from the Buddies Bar in Altincombe and he was saying that it's uh, mainly Turkish that come here. Um, but that it's really expensive. And I couldn't put the two things together. If it's the Turkish people that come here, how come it's so expensive? And he said it's because it's the rich Turkish people that come here. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what the prices are like. Well, it didn't take long to find the first bar. I don't know what this place is called, but it's... Uh, it's, it's done. It's getting me one now. Thank you. It's 50% off until 8 o'clock, so that'll do me. Third tip for um, two bird malt. Nice view. I was only going in for one, they've been popping for four. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, slightly tipsy you now. I need some food. But this is, this is what I'm looking at when I walk out of the bar. I could have actually sat right next to the sea. The bar's there and all the tables are just there. The dog having a good old time. I need to do some housekeeping while I'm here because for the past few weeks, in fact the whole time I've been in Turkey, I've basically been washing my clothes in the shower. And it's getting to the point now where I'm putting a clean shirt on and it stinks as soon as I put it on. So there is a, a laundry just up here. 
the main streets from the seafront are just these tiny little alleys. They're not roads, they're, they're pedestrian streets. And apparently, just up here, there's a laundrette. So I'm just going to go, it's, it's not open now, and I haven't got my clothes with me. I'm just going to see if there's any uh, info on prices and stuff like that. This is the uh, next street up from the seafront and I came out just there and then to the left there seems to be like lots of bars and restaurants and stuff. There's a place here called Beer House, Barrel Beer House. I do need food though. Well this is the place to come if you want some flip flops. It does seem more expensive, uh, at the minute, like the bar I've just been to, like the beer was 30 lira for a pint, but that's only till 8 o'clock and then it goes up to 60. So that's like almost double what I was paying in Altenkum. No idea where I'm going right now, just having a wander. I need a bank and I need some food and then probably some more beers well up here it seems to be like a main street you can see Vodafone so I'm presuming this looks pretty decent prices to be honest yeah I think I'll find uh, ATM around here somewhere in fact this is a bank can't see an ATM though oh here we go Let's see if it's a bank that charges me to draw out my own money. Well, that one wanted to charge me 20 lira. So I'm going to keep on trying. 20 lira is like a pound, but I don't know, why am I drawing, why am I paying to draw my own money out? Well, I'm not, basically. I think we've got a couple more ATMs just on the corner here. Lots of kebab shops and markets and stuff. Oh, in fact, there's one here. Let's give this a go. So now it's asking me if I want to draw out the conversion in Turkish lira or British pounds. So it's Turkish lira. And look at that, that's even more. 33 lira. So that. Right, let's try the Bank of Turkey then. See if I have more luck with this. Okay, so I've just given my pin. Don't want to see. Oh there, I want 500. And let's see how we get on. Right, so I don't want the conversion. Twenty-five rare. Something called Help Bank. I've not come across this one before. Let's give this one a go. Normally when they ask if you want a receipt. And there we go. Yeah, normally when they ask if you want a receipt straight after you've put the money in, they don't ask you anything about conversion or any fees or anything like that. So, and there we go, 500. No fees. Help bank, is that? Help bank. So if you're in Bodrum and you want to uh, draw some money out without paying, Hulk Bank is the way to go. And the prices? Okay, we'll go for this. Yeah, yeah, nice one. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. So I've ended up in this place, so I've no idea what it's like. It just it sells doner kebab and beer, so which is always a, a nice little bonus. And um, 
episode of the mix. And I like how they have like a little card in there. Thank you. There's a little card in this pocket for the prices. Yeah. So you buy it by weight. So I've gone for, I don't know how much, 150 gram I think of meat. It comes with fries and other things. And um, yeah, it costs like a hundred. So about a fiver. It's probably expensive. I don't know. We'll see what it's like anyway. So I think I've been scammed to be honest because I've just looked at some reviews of this place and uh, the little card that he showed me is the one that they show tourists and it costs like a hundred where it was on the actual menu for the locals it costs about 30 so yeah might pull them up on that all the reviews on Google Maps are saying the same thing Uh, I want to pay, yeah? Yeah. So, uh, how much? This one? Oh, so I had like the, like a mixed donor. Yeah, yeah. mixed two? chicken beef. Uh, chicken and meat, okay. yeah, yeah. Small size, medium size, small, big size. Small, small. Small sizes. What do you think of this? 150 grams, medium 300 grams. No, 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 it wasn't as much as that. Uh, Done. I think it was that one, okay. and, and the beer, and the and beer as well. Okay. Uh, large beer. Large beer. Large beer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can sit. No, I've already eaten. Take I want to pay. Take away. No, no, I've eaten I've eaten. I want. I want to pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And on Google Maps, there's a lot of reports of uh, people being scammed in there. Like when the tourists come in, they give you a little card with the weight of the meat, and that's what I got. So I basically paid a hundred for that plate, which is about five pounds, which, you know, doesn't sound bad for a plate of mixed kebab meat. It's more than double what I'm normally paying. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna question them. I was gonna challenge them on it and see what they said. I was gonna say, oh, this is the tourist price, isn't it? But I just couldn't be asked. They are, they're actually really nice. You know, they're gonna be out there when they're scamming you. But yeah, then they tried to charge me fifty for a beer, and I know for a fact it was forty-five on the menu. So I gave them forty-five. Then, oh yeah, that's fine, whatever. Go and watch yourself in these touristy places of Turkey. I'm heading to what apparently is the oldest rock bar in Turkey. Now over the past few years, apparently it's kind of lost its reputation amongst the hardcore rockers because they kind of play pop music and stuff like that now apparently. And it's changed hands. It used to be called something like the Tower or something. Now it's called something different. So it's... Uh, some people say it's a bit of a, another place that might rip you up, so you've got to watch out. Now generally they tend to like kind of rip people off with uh, cocktails by not putting any alcohol in or putting a uh, small amount of alcohol in. I'm only going for a beer, so that should be straightforward enough. So yeah, let's go to the oldest rock bar in Bodmin. Bodrum. Bodmin? Bodrum. Well, I wasn't expecting the rock bar to be on something called Bar Street. <laughs> so you have to actually walk through a restaurant to get to the rock bar. Well, this is actually the street, believe it or not. <laughs> So where's the bloody rock bar? I can hear the rock music. 
but I can't see. Ah, here we are. I was walking down the wrong place. Here we go. Well, this is really cool. It's actually outdoors. I don't know if we've got like a. Oh wow, there's another place up there which is um, upstairs. So I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, this looks awesome. Fifty for a beer. Set up for that. Upstairs, and then the guy then says, Oh no, just the toilets upstairs. So, like, okay, I'll leave it there. So, then I finally get to go to the toilets, and yeah, fair enough, the whole other thing that's happening upstairs is the toilets, but there's a hole on the bar before you get to it. I'll walk you through. It's, this place is huge. This is like a I reckon this is a club. I think it's open till about four in the morning, or maybe even later than that. But yeah, it's like, I've just come into a whole other section. It's just absolutely massive. Two bars in this side. 